coming in here tonight. Second down and three. Brown's been a workhorse on this first drive, and that's the first time the Cougars have been able to slow him down as Lucas Sparks was in position. And this ball is going to be taken at the eight-yard line. This is Justin Green. He has got crazy speed. Try and run it again. And this opens up a hole to the 30, the 20. Jason Nicodemus is inside the five. First and goal, Cougars. Yardage run. There's nobody at the second level. You see Nicodemus get through the seam. There's nobody there. You've got defensive backs coming from the other side of the field trying to make the tackle. Nicodemus is a no frills downhill runner. When he gets it, there's no dancing. He's going north and south. Bottom of your screen. This is his territory. They look his way and say, go get it. Touchdown, St. Francis. Nine, there's a distinct height advantage. That's a six-inch height advantage. So all Ferrer did was throw the football up, allow Colt to make a play on it, and you see Colt is able to high point the football. Avery Parker never had an opportunity to make a play on that football. That ball perfectly placed. Bertel with time, but the pocket closes quickly. And call that the first sack of the game. That's Eric Hemmelgarn, the big sophomore. So third down for the Cougars. Ferrer looks to his left and dumps it off to a wide open Nicodemus. And how about Jason Nicodemus early on in this game? And what he did on that play, he got to the outside in the flat. Nobody went with him. Good job by Ferrer reading where the pressure was coming from. St. Francis. Third down and long, though. Gegner in motion, and now they'll fire it once more. A first down catch made at the 40-yard line. That's McDowell, the senior out of Indianapolis. Be behind the formation and up the sideline, everyone paid attention to him. Nobody paid attention to the other receiver in the scene. McDowell. Bottom of the screen. Ferrer looks at him. And what he'll fire to the slot guy. The ball was tipped up, and it's caught. Akeem Kelsaw came down with it, and it should be good enough for a St. Francis first down. Chip Atmosphere Municipal Stadium. It's a 44-yard field goal try by Ryan Nix, and it's good. Makes him so effective. Bertel to throw. He's in trouble, and he's going down. Second sack of the game for the Cougars. He runs right up. You see him right here, right in the middle of the offensive line. He just runs through the offensive lineman. He said whether your bucket is big or small, your job is to fill it so that it's overflowing. Coach Donnelly told his players you fill it with maximum effort on. Ferrer turns around, hands it off, and look at Green once again. Smooth running style of Green. He's able to find the seam, and once he does, you see him plant that foot and get north and south quick. They're going to play off the receiver. It's the receiver's job to make a play when they get the football. Give it to Brown, but he is going to be cut down. Spencer Coward. Good job of fighting through the blocker. They were trying to block him on the outside. You see him knock the blocker off. Good job by Coward. It's difficult when you've got a six foot five guy running through you. They've got a double team. Here it comes again, and it's a turnover. Lucas Sparks is on the football, and St. Francis has got it back. Giving up a short edge. You see right here to the outside, you cannot turn those shoulders. You've got to kick back three steps to keep the width of the pocket. The tackles are opening up those shoulders. And now the offense hopes to reward them here. Justin Green up the middle, and there he goes. Green is going to score. Touchdown, St. Francis. Defenders, and you cannot arm tackle him. The deceptive speed, once again, you see his silkiness, the smoothness, the balance, the quickness, the ability to elude tacklers. And when he gets to the open field, you're not going to tackle him. Good strike. Look at the offensive line. You get pressure. You get guards up on the second level defenders. Green is not touched until he gets to the third level. My check, my check. Whoa. Here's Bertel again. And he, his receivers right now are just getting decked. And they have teed off on Cornell Brown and company. And once again, it's a clean play, shoulder pad to shoulder pad. Correction. Daytona Beach Convention and Visitors Bureau, and, and that's just it. We've tried to make this a bowl experience for the guys. Of course, 83 degree. And this St. Francis program. Here's a little flip, and that's Sean Boswell. 
First down yardage and more to the 26-yard line. Attack by number 87, Zach Gagner. Watch the block right here. The block right here, that opens up the hole and allows Boswell to get those positive yards. Down and two. Four wideouts in the game. Ferrer waits and delivers. First down strike to his favorite guy, Seth Coe. You see on the outside, McLaurin is all over him, but he gets separation off the release, and he's able to use his big body in those blocks and give the back an edge. Ferrer dealing, and was this caught? I think he held on to it, bobbled it for a moment, but Coat hangs on. And you can see Akeem Francis once again right there to make a play. He bumps Coat off the line. But you've got to stay with Coat. I don't think you release Coat. You've got to stay on top of Coat. Cougars now methodically moving it. Play action to Green and stepping up. A wide open guy at the 20. It's Coat. Stiff arm, and he scores. Touchdown, St. Francis. Easy catch for him. Nick Ferrer did a good job of putting the ball where he could make the easy catch. And watch the stiff arm right here. He sticks it out and just pushes Avery Parker away. I don't know how you allow Coach to get this open. I don't care what kind of ball fakes they're doing. You've got to stay on top of Coach. You've got to stay with him right here. Everyone goes for it. You see the linebackers get sucked in. And right there, number 21, Darian Winston, the best defensive back in coverage for Baker, falls down. This one's going to be stuffed. Big 93, Chris Johnson. And you see they get penetration by the defensive line. The offensive linemen are standing straight up. You've got to get low. You've got to keep a wide base. It's pushing the center back into his face. Now here comes three-man rush. Bertel will step up. Has a man. Incomplete. Well defended by Jarrell Holman. The field for the Cougars. Nick Ferrer with time again. Lofts it in the air. Code is down there and makes a great catch. He is down at the 35-yard line. He beats the bump, and then you've got safety help over the top in the zone, in the deep end of the defense, but they allow Coat to run by them. You cannot allow Coat to get to the outside and get behind you or on top of you as a defensive player. Take it to Green. Ferrer going for the jugular. It's Coat for the score. He did a corner post route. He acted like he was going to the corner route and went to the post and had man coverage. He had a safety on him. It's an easy pitch and catch. <laughs> is on a roll. He is Time feeling out. it. Ferrer finds Seth Coat. Cougars blowing this one open. They throw it backwards. Tough play for Brown to make. And the ball came out as he took a shot. And this should be St. Francis ball as Wilmer Cole falls on it. It is Cougar football. Tight. Watch Brown on this play. Right as he's going We're down. The, field is that the, player the ball is hit the ball and jarred loose by number 31, Marcus Stepp. The player that stepped in the play before to knock the ball down. Comes across him with the big hit. Puts his helmet right on the football. Good job by the St. Francis defense. First and goal for the Wildcats. Bertel rolls to his left, being pressured now, and he'll be pushed out of bounds at the seven. Three minutes now. Ferrer turns around, gives it off, and it's another big run. Off to the races and into the end zone. Touchdown, Cougars. P.J. Dean busting through. See the Baker players coming up to stop the run. When you have everyone in the box, if the back is able to get up to the second and third level, there's only one or two defenders to beat. You see him make the cut, P.J. Dean, and then you get positive yards. We're going to make you feel us as a defense. Wrapped up and sacked. That's Marcus Stepp, the sophomore out of Fort Wayne. And coming Stop unblocked, there, Stepp did a good job of Tough way for this to end tonight. Rattel releases, incomplete, and that is going to just about do it. It's the St. Francis Cougars, for the first time in school history, are the 2016 NAIA National Champions. 
And now time for the victory ride for the legend, Kevin Donnelly.